went into medit splints and I'm going to just extract the teeth and we're going to turn this um, this is immediate denture I'm trying to make I find that if I do it a splint it's a lot smoother and it brings the gum tissue up to the teeth so it's a lot less sculpting in my hands to try to get the gums to match the teeth so I just went ahead and made a splint that went really fast but then I've gone in I'm in Medit Tools now and I've brought in the splint and the lower jaw and I just imported the teeth in segments. I've got an anterior segment and then the posterior segments and then I'm going to manipulate them, move them and orient them. And this has taken me a while. This is, you know, I've only made a few of these. The concept is what I've been trying to do. I usually send this or I do this in ExoCAD, but I'm trying to figure out a way to teach other people how to do this for free and since this software is free and I'm generating this libraries of teeth um, so I've got it you can import it as a whole or in segments here I did it segments knowing that I'll probably have to adjust the posterior teeth to get occlusion so anyway this is how you do it bring in the teeth um, adjust the teeth segments accordingly I get them close I mean this is for an immediate so I'm you know when I do this I'll let it heal then I'll use this denture actually to take an impression or I'll print it up in a cheaper material and you take an impression with it in the mouth and I'll send it to the lab to have it remade when the healing's done um, but this patient came in on Thursday we didn't work Friday um, he wanted his denture we had time to take out his teeth on Monday so I'm just gonna hurry and make this um, and have it ready so teeth are in you see the gums for the splint came a little too tall so we just gotta sculpt it back a little bit and this is gonna take the longest amount of time right here sculpting in medit tools I'm more familiar with ExoCAD so this takes me longer but I think with a little practice it's not gonna be too difficult I like the concept when I can bring in the upper and the lower teeth together and the occlusion is already on in ExoCAD it's a little tedious I don't have the denture version I have a bar and module or whatever implant so you have to do for me I have to do the upper jaw then bring the lower jaw in and make the lower jaw fit the upper jaw I do like the simplicity of this with bringing you know if I wanted to I could have brought the lower opposing jaw and done two dentures here he's gonna have a partial on the bottom but we just need him teeth for Monday so Pretty quick. So we're going to finish the festooning and then we're going to combine the teeth. I think I forgot to combine the teeth, but you want to combine the teeth into one SDL because then you're going to make sure that they're not impinging on the gums. You want to make sure there's enough acrylic to cover the teeth so that the gums, when you glue them together, have enough to hold them um, but yeah my goal is we're doing a humanitarian trip I'm trying to raise money for that where I've got two locals that are going to learn how to do this program I taught my kids um, they don't know everything but they can do the basics they can do a splint they can bring the teeth in I usually do a facial scan to go with this with Medit so it's easier to see where the men light is but he had so much facial hair that's one thing it's hard to do I, I in my hands I have a hard time doing a facial scan when there's facial hair combine the teeth um, and then we're going to do an offset of the teeth to make them a little bigger and the bigger teeth we're gonna cut away from the gums so there's a, a bigger hole in the gums um, and then we'll be good to go and print. So before I do it, I got to make sure that it's impinging through the gums right there. So we're going to remove it. Um, ExoCAD, it's easier because you can lower the translucency on the model of the gums or whatever you look, and you can continue to adjust what's showing, but here you have to make sure you lock 
like lock what you don't want to get adjusted. So if you look in the upper left hand corner of the splint, it's locked. That way when I adjust, only the teeth are gonna be adjusted, not the gums. We don't want the intaglio of the gums to be adjusted. And then I'll just smooth a little bit. I need a little bit more space. I like to have a little bit thicker base so the teeth don't punch through. The prints seem to have less prone to air if they're a little thicker. And then once that's done, I'll export them. Or actually, I'm going to cut away, do the offset right here of the finished teeth. And then we'll go ahead and cut that from the gums and we'll export them and this will be good to go ahead and start printing. So, oh, and one thing with, I don't know if you notice that, but if you, if you make a modification, you go and grab it and you move it, it'll throw the things off. So you have to hurry and hit the tool button there next to the check mark, just so when you move the models, you don't disrupt the orientation that they both have. Um, other tools, when you scan, make sure you go 